remember what a sentence is? A sentence is a group of words that makes complete sense by itself and does not depend on another word or group of words to do so. It has a subject and a predicate. The predicate always contains the verb. It can be a statement, a question, an exclamation or a command. It always begins with a capital letter and ends with either a full stop or an exclamation mark or a question mark. Today, we shall learn about a particular type of sentence in detail. Please hand me that book. Or you can also say, hand me that book. Now, both these sentences give us the same meaning, but they are slightly different. So, the first sentence, please hand me that book, is a request. Whereas the second sentence, hand me that book, is a command. So, both these sentences, which either show a request or a command, are known as imperative sentences. Now you might wonder that the sentence always has a subject and a verb and it makes complete sense. But there is no subject in these two sentences. So why are these two called sentences? Now in both these sentences, the subject you is implied. It is not mentioned. When I say, please hand me that book, I actually mean you please hand me that book. So you is not mentioned, it is implied. Similarly, when I say hand me that book, I actually want to say you hand me that book. So you is implied in the second sentence also. So in imperative sentences, the subject is usually not mentioned. So if I say shut the door, I am giving a command and I actually mean you shut the door. So this sentence is also an imperative sentence. Now when we say don't ever lie, we actually want to say do not ever lie and we want to say you do not ever lie. So you is implied here. And this sentence is giving us a command. So this is also an imperative sentence. But in this imperative sentence, we have used not. So it is having a negative sense. Now you will notice that up till now, we have learned that imperative sentences end with a full stop. But sometimes imperative sentences also end with an exclamation mark. Let us see when. Now, if somebody says, move out of my way, they are using a very strong emotion to express a command, move out of my way. In such a case, we end our imperative sentence with an exclamation mark. So, imperative sentences, which have a very strong feeling attached to it, end with an exclamation mark. Similarly, if someone says, Get out of this room right now. There is a very strong feeling or emotion attached to this command. So this ends with an exclamation mark and this is also an imperative sentence. Now that you have learnt about imperative sentences in detail, can you identify the imperative sentence here? We have two sentences given to us. Take an umbrella as it may rain today. Jenny lives in a house by the sea. Which of these sentences show a command or a request? Now, if I say Jenny lives in a house by the sea, I am just stating a fact. There is no command or request involved here. So, this is not an imperative sentence. 
What kind of a sentence is this? This is a declarative sentence because it is giving us a fact. But the sentence, take an umbrella as it may rain today. This is giving us a command. So this sentence is an imperative sentence. So what have we learned today? We have learned about a special kind of sentence known as the imperative sentence. It expresses a command or a request. In these kinds of sentences, usually the subject is not mentioned but understood. And these kinds of sentences end with either a full stop or an exclamation mark. When we have a strong feeling or emotion associated with the command or the request, we use an exclamation mark. Otherwise, we use a full stop to end these kinds of sentences. So now, you know about two different kinds of sentences. The declarative sentence and the imperative sentence. I hope you can distinguish between them. So, you need to do a lot of exercises with these sentences so that you can identify them easily. We shall soon learn about the other kinds of sentences in detail. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.